Welcome back to my Let's Play for the Sky of PC version. My run through is just the pre squad. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to bring in some help for this next map. On the ground side, I just cannot get through it. And I'll explain exactly why when we get there. But for now, you know, I'll show off a grinding technique with it at least. So we're gonna be trying to bribe some senators, you know, to vote our way. And I wanna find the most highly leveled one first. Uh he's not worth it. I mean, this one's neutral, so I can try and, you know, see how I think he really wants. Well, even if I just get leaning in my favor, I'll take it right now. You're too low level, so you're not worth bribing. Of course, most of them aren't too high in level, but, you know, I still want to bribe the highest level ones I can find. To, if nothing else, at least be on my side. Well, best I guess I guess leaning no. I'm not willing to dump anything else in there. Oh, I got two things he must have. Three, huh? Okay, man, I should switch his boat. Probably. I mean, this says in favor of, he might still, you know, vote against me just cause. Signs the AI just wants to be a dick, what can I say? I was hoping that some of them would want my cheap junk. Because I did buy a few cheap items, you know, before I started this. Some candy and whatnot. Usually that appeals to at least some people, you know? Ah, uh, well, I don't have anything left for him. I can't give it to you either. Um, no, I can't offer you further bribes, unfortunately. Well, if he's interested, I'll bribe him. Just to get rid of this stuff. Okay, let's do it. Well, as long as we pass with over 100, you know, I'm fine. Okay, we got triple experience pass. Good. It's a key part of, you know, our leveling up strategy here, but let's get heading to, um, the next area, finally. I know, it's been like six months, but finally back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, they're going after Laharl's weakness. Sexy women. That's a horrible weakness to have, man. It really is. Well, the only other fictional character I can think of that even has this weakness, or at least used to, would be Yamcha. Like, he could not stand being in the presence of pretty girls when he was first introduced, so he saw Boma and, like, freaked out and ran away. <laughs> You gotta love that, though. Nice thumbnail there. <laughs> oh, stop your cackling. Fearless? How is he fearless? He's relying on my weaknesses to try and take me out. He doesn't think he can take me in a fair fight. I mean, I know we're demons and all, but I mean, come on. Oh, what is yeah, how could we forget you? You got fired for one of the dumbest reasons possible. <laughs> That's right, he got fired for stealing pretzels. Well, the only thing I can think of that might be even dumber is, um, choosing to quit your job over your mustache. Or quitting from a fast food place because you're worried about getting burned by the grill. Damn straight. 
pathetic. Isn't it obvious? He wants your title. I mean, what else could he be here for? You got a point, but since he knows your weaknesses, we already know what he can do. He can exploit the hell out of him. But do you know the weakness of the pretty squad? No, it Yep. Backstabbed. Ah. Uh, sad look. <laughs> but he has no loyalty to give in return. Yep. Oh, come on, there's no parched ground or buildings for tombstone. Come on, this is a terrible place for a grave. Yep, that is just cold, man. Yep, keyword there is had. I guess he wants to be like Lord Frieza. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll make you cry like a little girl whenever you hear her name after this. And probably wet yourself. I still like to know what those were photos of. <sighs> I don't need to hear excuses. But yeah, I was working on leveling up Scotch's um, weapon here. If you look at his electric heal, he's got Alchemist level 36. That means he has a 36% chance to poison the enemy. The problem is on this map, since it's invincibility everywhere except one spot, um, my total damage is always rendered down to zero. And to inflict poison or any other stat effect in this game, you actually have to at least nick the enemy for one point of damage. So invincibility shuts down stat effects as well as blocks you from getting damaged. It's really powerful square in that regard now, ain't it? So yeah, we're gonna be um, bringing some other units out to help throw these girls to where I need them to go. And we passed triple experience because we're gonna fuse them all together and throw them into that one green square and then kill them. Now I would just use the pre squad if I could pick up and throw, but monsters don't get that ability because you know the game's just like no, no, no. Monsters should be allowed to throw things. Ugh. <sighs> I mean, it is what it is. It's just irritating. We'll just end our turn there. I mean, I could attack, but it's pointless. So like I said, I can't do anything with it. Now let's lift and throw. 
I'm not sure if the Nekoma is um, worth more experience or not. Ah, I can't just directly pass you. Dang. I guess I'll attack that one. I don't see why I shouldn't attack at least. Even if it is, you know, pointless. But yeah, since we can't inflict actual damage, you know, no poison. But we'll still let, you know, Scotch do all the work of actually finishing the enemies off. Hmm. Well, since the succubi is closer... Let's lift and throw. Darn. Well, let's pick you up and throw Laharl then. Darn it. I was hoping I'd land that. I'm not surprised I missed, though. Angled throws are always the most difficult to do. Even if you're, um, know what you're doing. Really easy to mess up. Well, if I want to try and get a Nekomata on top, I guess I could try. Well, then lift you and throw. I don't think there's enough Nekomas left though to counter that. Because the monster you get is going to be based on the one the highest level, so this one's going to absorb that one. And let's just attack. Will it do anything? No. But I feel like doing it. Now let's see... Let's throw you. Let's throw you even further. And try and pin you down this way. But I think we should bring up Laharl. Just because he's got some of the higher um, moving throws for all the characters we got out here right now. Darn. Ooh, we made it. Well, let's keep moving. After all, we gotta get that one all the way over that way. Let's pick you up. Throw you all the way across. Probably start moving the Harl back after this. After all, I don't need any more throwers at this point. Everyone's already been, you know, absorbed effectively. Yeah, I know, this is definitely not the fastest grinding technique. Even if I wasn't talking while doing it, you know, still pretty lengthy to fuse everything together. Oh, yeah, I was gonna have her come up. Alright, I'll head back to base. You done your part. I suppose I just leave them where they lay, because it's not like they're gonna get anything out of it. Well, pick and throw. Fortunately, I can't stop this thing from wandering back to where she just was. Because the printy got stuck. Probably should have moved her. After all, she is the weakest, so... The succubus is going to try and take her out first, you know, regardless of anything else she's doing. Well, lift and throw right there. Okay. 
now that we got her in this spot, we can try and work on actually killing her. Slowly but surely. Yep, poison damage, thank you. I don't remember, um... This unit being so tough. But I suppose it helps that, you know, it's got, what, like, overall left level 100 right now? Yeah, 112. Hundred fifty nine. It's not bad, but she keeps healing herself. Oh well, she'll run out of you know heals at some point. She can only do that hip attack so many times, you know, before she runs out. Would you stop that? Ugh. I th think she's got enough left in her for one more, and then she'll be bone dry. Because that should, you know, take off eight. Yep. Town to just one magic point. Only 28 points of damage. That was crappy. Good thing poison does so much. Well, if we can get her down to, like, you know, under 100, I can try and just, you know, kill her off with a special technique. Let's just keep trying to slice away. Some of these attacks are just hitting a lot harder than, you know, others for some reason. Will this one pass 100? Makes me wonder, you know, how much my best techniques can I do when I unleash it. I think I'm going to have to dedicate a video to just one stage. It's kind of sad. Hopefully poison doesn't get her in the end. Okay, do I want to wait? Yeah, end turn. And 226 points of damage. I'll put her, you know, with an easy killing range. Weak to fire, right? Yep. So we'll go with the pretty bomb. It's fire base. You know, it's my most powerful skill, so... Should hopefully be more than enough to finish her off. Anyway, having triple experience pass, that count, you know, was basically killing like a level 300 enemy or something like that, so. Should get a crazy amount of, um. levels that way. Yeah, we went from level, f what, 49 to 60? So we jumped up 11 levels in one move? I mean, I ha also have a level, like, 300 statistician. 290, but close enough, so I get a bonus multiplier from that, too. But Yeah, that was a good way to gain a lot of levels fast. And I'm going to need a lot of levels if I want to level you up. Doesn't give me that much mana, though. I might need to get some managers. Otherwise, I'll be passing, you know, triple experience bills and getting about just as much out of it, because I think I'm going to spend some time trying to do that a few more times to try and get the others leveled up as well. Because I really need to catch them back up. And that stage I don't think changes after you clear it. There's still going to be invincibility squares there. But if it does change, oh well. Until next time then. See ya.